Today is Wednesday, March 30th, and it is our second squat day this week. Monday we did paw squats with 380 pounds, and today we have to do competition squats and work up to a 450 pound single. So I'm very excited about that. Brett listed out the exact warm up, so I have to do 405 by 2, then I believe 430 by 1, then 450 by 1. So that is the game plan for today. My one and only concern is just hoping that I get the good squat rack when we get there, but regardless, we're going to make it a good day. Look at this place. Completely empty. That's beautiful. Whole place. Now we gotta set this bad boy up. Hey. So squats are completed, we worked up to 450 as instructed. Um, the 450 felt rougher than I expected it to. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot smoother than that based on how 425 went last week. Um, then again, my 405 double, even that moved slower than 405 moved last week. So it could just be the day, but um, regardless, I want to get a lot stronger. So now we've got to move on to light deadlifts, just doing very light low volume deadlifts today. Keep the uh, central nervous system warm, keep the posterior chain warm, and then later on uh, this Friday we have to do heavy deadlifts. Don't you wish it was that easy? Stupid uh, computer is not reading this card. It's just non-responsive. The old N64 gamer inside of me will never die. Well, looks like we are doing this the old-fashioned way via the old USB cord. And at least it's working. Sadly, I think this has just had so much wear and tear over like the four years I've owned this computer that it's just finally starting to crap the bed. But this is why you always keep your extra leftover electronic pieces and units to something, even when you don't think you'll ever need them again, keep them. Dude, how crazy is this? This little nub right here is the key to my entire tripod. I have that really nice black tripod. It's a fancy one. And this nub, the design of it gives the tripod a ton of mobility. So it's awesome, but this thing is so easy to lose and if you lose this your tripod's useless you can't connect the camera to it and i just found it now on my desk that could have been bad if i lost this youtube would have been done for so that belongs in there and then you lock it closed Whew. 
So tonight is date night. I love Friday nights. We try to do a date night at least once a week, every single week. It's a blast. We love going to 1149. That's our go-to place lately. Uh, it's a very awesome, nice restaurant with a great staff and an awesome environment. And it has a great gluten-free selection for Ariana to have. So we love that place. And it's fun for us just to kind of get dressed up at least once a week, you know, and go have a good time with ourselves, just by ourselves, get away from everything and just enjoy each other. Well, this is the outfit we're going with, except my neck, in recent news, has apparently gotten fatter. Or more jacked, depending on how you want to look at it. Unfortunately, I can't button this top button. I did send a picture to Max Tuning, the fashion expert, and Bob Arcan, Mr. GQ himself. For, we're all in a group chat. And I asked them if I could pull this off or if it's just too sloppy. I mean, they recommended that I go without the tie, and honestly, I was kind of thinking that too. Advice is pretty much what you ask for when you already know the answer and you just don't want to admit it. Double fisting cameras down a spiral staircase, yeah. Oh, look at you. You look mighty beautiful. Oh, thank you. Ready? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Ugh. <laughs> Liquid assets. Yeah, then like, Ooh. yeah, Cristal, I have that. I mean, I can do 10% on the Cristal too. Let's do, let's do the Dom. I've been craving Dom. We're just gonna do one. Say what up to the YouTubes, by the way. What's going on? My boy James over Shout, here. Selling some booze. <laughs> this Dom Perrion going downtown guy. For the date night after party. Yeah, of course. Right Let's on, see. man. So I'm on YouTube now? Oh yeah, you are. Fucking right. Oh, this is for after the date. Yay. Really good? It was so good. That was amazing. That was flaming young with uh, some ravioli with some meat in it. It was glorious. You definitely had it before because I remember like a while ago you were like, when you got it, you were like, this ravioli is so good. Ariana tried to pour the champagne. This is the result. <laughs> Are you hiding? <laughs> Dude, I thought it was cute. I poured with my left hand on the righty. Yeah, that's the same excuse I would use too. Hang tight. Gotta get the car. I like the sun. <laughs> Wait, don't unlock it yet. Don't open it. Okay, I got this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So it's deadlift day again, once again warming up with light squats, nothing exhausting, just a little bit to get the CNS prime to get my uh, posterior chain all warmed up. So we're doing a set of three with 315, a set of three with 330, and then a quick single with 340, and a single with 350, and that's it for squats. We're all warmed up, and today we're deadlifting heavy. I'm excited because we're working up to a 540 pound single today. The most I've ever pulled in a meet is 530 pounds, and the most I ever pulled in the gym was 555 pounds. Um, I'm switching to the thinner metal plates because on top of using the Ohio bar, which is super stiff, um, the size of the plates can actually make a difference because it distributes the weight out wider on the bar. That's why when you use bumper plates, it actually makes the deadlift a little bit easier because it allows the bar to flex a little bit more like a deadlift bar because the weight's so far out. So I've been using the black fat 45s lately. I don't think it makes a huge difference, but I'm switching to the thin plates just so it makes it that much tighter, that much stiffer, and can emulate how it's gonna be in a meet just a little bit more. And I'm excited, man. I wanna make this thing fast. <laughs> Ming, what do you have for me? Ooh. Watermelon Rockstar. You know what this tastes like, Nick? No. Sour Patch Watermelon in a can. That's Pier Zero? Pier Zero. 
dude. Sour Patch watermelon. He's not lying. It's Sour Patch. It's a Sour Patch kid melted down dude. with caffeine in it. I think it might be my new favorite, I have to say. I just caught him filming me, so I'm gonna film him back. How's it going? What's up, man? Wanna introduce yourself? Kevin. Kevin, right on. Ocean State member. Yes, I am. I just found out that Kevin has seen some of the videos on the channel, which I appreciate, so thank yes, you. Sir. Oh, it's everybody's favorite. We out here. Come on! Let's go, make it fast. Come on, Nick, what are you made of? What are you made of? Shh! Fuck you! That felt way easier than I expected it to. That felt nice, easy, and smooth. Let's compare it. Here's a clip of me doing a 545. The week before I began training under Brett Gibbs. This was uh, probably about maybe a month and a half, two months ago. So, it was five pounds lighter, but it was also with the super stiff Ohio bar, which makes things a lot harder. That moved nice. Woo, it felt great. This is a great day on so many accounts. Okay, not only is it my big date night with my lady, which is always a blast, I got to meet a subscriber, I got to try the new Game Changer, I got to smoke 540, which was awesome, but the best thing about this day is I usually have to do like a thousand sets with a thousand reps of stupid hip thrusts, which are great for you, you have to do them, but I hate them, as well as stiff leg deadlifts, like all that, like that painful high rep stuff, oh, it sucks. It's so beneficial, but it sucks. I don't have to do those today. This is the first day five of my week that I've never had to do this today, probably because it was so max effort. Oh, that is amazing.